Hey, welcome back to the series of accountancy chapter 2 accounting for partnership basic concept in this video we are solving a sum on average period method or a shortcut method so we'll try to solve this sum as easy as possible let us start this sum calculate interest on drawing of mr kamlesh at 10 percent for the year ending 31st 3 2018 by the average period method or the shortcut method kamlesh is drawing thousand rupees per month so simple simple question but we need to calculate interest on drawing for three different uh, situations so that is the beginning of every month in the middle of the every month in the end of every month we need to calculate the interest on drawings so let's start this first of all we we'll do the first scenario that is the beginning of every month so the beginning of every month write down the beginning of every month first of all you need to calculate average period to calculate the interest because we know what is the formula this is the formula okay this is the formula so that we need to calculate average period so the average period method is longest period plus shortest period divided by two so this is a calculation again so that is formula average period is equal to longest period plus shortest period divided by two calculate the average period he is drawing every month at the beginning so not to make easy came to the calendar so here we are here every month he is drawing from here to here you need to calculate the longest period longest period here to here is 12 months okay that is the longest period the shortest period is this is the last drawed month or that is the last draw date from there to the accounting period the end of the accounting period that is 31st here to here is one month so this so come back that is why we are written here longest period is equal to 12 plus short period is equal to 1 divided by 2 that will be like 13 divided by 2 that is 6.5 half in 13 is 6.5 next put a formula we know what is formula interest is equal to total drawings into rate into average period divided by 12 so the total drawing is 12,000 actually because 1,000 per month into 12 the 1,000 per month into 12 is equal to 12,000 into 10 percent the rate is 10 percent into 6.5 that is an average period months so 6.5 6.5 divided by 12 so this is the formula so here we have a 12 so that's why we just uh, copy the formula as it is so after this the next step is 12,000 1000 into 12,000 12, and everything remains same 10 divided by 100 into 6.5 now if you multiply 12,000 into 10 or if you just cancel this two zeros and two zeros 120 into 10 into 6.5 divided by 12 will get 650 rupees so this is the interest from every beginning of the month suppose if we move on to the second method or if we move on to the second scenario that is the middle of every month when amount is withdrawing a drawed at every middle month so for that as usual the average period formula the longest and the shortest period if you come back to the calendar so if you come here you can find every 15th you will draw an amount so from here april 15th again 15th let's go on till here right every 15th so how many months till here the longest period not to calculate longest period the first day of amount withdraw to the accounting year end that is 31st okay 31st okay now calculate i'll tell you easy idea from april to march next march we have 12 months okay if you subtract these 15 days that will become 11.5 months right if you subtracting half a month from 15 days so that means longest period is equal to 11.5 and if you calculate shortest period the shortest period is the last days of withdraw amount is 15th from that day to the accounting year end so here to year 15 that means 0.5 month right half a month so the shortest period is 0.5 if you come back to the problem the longest period is equal to 11.5 plus the shortest period is equal to 0.5 divided by 2 11.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 12 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 so 6 months average period is 6 months okay next put a formula 
interest is equal to total drawings into rates into average period divided by 12. So we know what is total drawing. We'll direct to come to the this stage because we already did this two part total drawings and rates. So 12,000 and 10% everything remains same except this uh, average period. So average period is 6 and divided by 12. So same thing till here and next is you have to multiply or you just cancel the two things that is if you cancel these two zeros and 1200 and 120 into 10 into 6 divided by 12 so you will get 600 rupees so from the middle of the every month you have to pay an interest of 600 rupees okay the next scenario is the end of every month what if if you draw an amount of every end that is 31st or 30th whatever so again we'll start here average period longest and the shortest come back to the calendar we'll delete it so start here every end of the month so from here you will start draw and that will be ended here every month you will draw so from april if you calculate from april to march we have 12 months but we can't consider this month because we started drawing from or Kamalesh is started drawing at 30th so you can't consider this month so leave this month then how many months are there from here obviously 11 months so longest period is equal to 11 and what is the shortest period so shortest period is the last day of amount withdrawal date is 31st and 31st to the accounting period end date so 31st to 31st right again the same day so if you subtract 31st minus 31st obviously it's zero from that day to that day it will zero days so there is no date so again that will become zero okay come back the longest period is 11 month plus shortest period is zero so if you divide you will get 5.5 months five and a half months so average period is 5.5 5, 5 months next is put a formula interest is equal to total drawings into rates into average period divided by 12 the same thing which applies to here but this average period will get changed 5.5 because the average period is 5.5 divided by 12 if you again do the same thing cross this zero cancel this double zero double zero and 120 into 10 into 5.5 divided by 12 so the total answer is rupees 550 rupees so this is how you have to solve this sum and we found out that in every three methods every beginning of the month every middle month or every end month we calculated all the method using the same simple technique and with the average period calculation the two easy method so if you like this video hit like and share with your friends like always see you in the next series bye